The most important part of this project is community, bringing this neighborhood together. We have to find ways to let people have other options in transportation uh, other than their automobile. I think one of the biggest things that are happening today isn't the paint on the ground, but it's connecting the community back together. People will feel safe crossing the street, going from one neighbor's house to another. This pilot project is part of the Broward MPO Compressus Initiative. We actually started a, the initiative back in 2013, and this was all a, a request from a, the federal government. This project really came from the community. They were asking the city to help them with a serious traffic situation that they had where there was basically a highway running through a residential neighborhood. I'm a cyclist. I ride probably 50 miles a week down here in and around just doing my thing and uh, it's not always safe, and I can't always find bike lanes to help me get from point A to point B. Well, we wanna have a very safe place for pedestrians, for cyclists, and for motorists to be able to get around the neighborhood. The need for this uh, uh, be tactical uh, project is very, very much needed, and especially slowing down traffic and for the safety and welfare for the residents and the community. Especially with the new artwork that's happening and the, in, uh, the, the new concept, this is just fabulous. And I believe that, that we're on a way to uh, say it's a new era and it's a new way of looking at things. The city did a really amazing project here by re removing two lanes, two car lanes, and creating bike lanes. We're coming in and improving those lanes with curb extensions, green back paint, uh, delineators, and planters that really create a, a much stronger public realm and make the bike lane safer. There are so many families that walk around with kids and strollers and little fur babies, and we're one of those fur baby families. So it's nice to finally have access to be able to cross safely, reach our parks, cross the street, visit our other neighbors. Well, it, it reduces the speed of people uh, going through 15th Avenue, which increases safety. So uh, by making, making it uh, a little bit tighter for people to turn on the main corridor, it makes it safer for everyone. It's gonna create a very safe path for people on bicycles, as well as for pedestrians to walk on the street, cross the street, create a, a feeling that of safety that's really most important. You know, Vision Zero is very important to Fort Lauderdale, trying to reduce the amount of fatalities and injuries by pedestrians and bicyclists here in our city. This is a major step forward. I'm really happy to see MPO investing uh, time and energy to build these protected bike lanes on uh, 15th Avenue here, uh, bringing together Fort Lauderdale and uh, uh, county and using federal funds to do this. It's a great thing to see. This is the second pilot project of this initiative. And uh, there are many to come uh, countywide. Of course, uh, this is only possible with the support of uh, the municipalities in Broward County uh, and of course uh, the federal government because we need to uh, be able to find uh, funds to implement quibble projects. The MPO had released this Be Tactical program, which perfectly fit with our project, to help leverage what we had done and add and really build community for this project. The reason why they're important is because they're a first step into in the permanent installations. We're hoping to eventually have permanent installations that will create the barriers and the pathways that delineate where vehicles should go and where bicycles should go and where scooters should go. I think it's a great illustration of all the organizations coming together at all different levels, the MPO, the federal, the state, the local, uh, to make projects uh, work. Well, this is a really big project that's allowed everyone to become kind of an active citizen in the neighborhood. We're all helping, we're all seeing it come together. It's colorful and bright, and I look forward to more projects. Well, from my perspective, I hope they push a lot. I know that it's hard sometimes for us to find the money to do these things, and I love working with Ben and trying to make sure that the MPO can get that cash for him. I'm looking forward to the MPO doing many, many more of these projects around Broward County and really creating more change, both with short-term materials and long-term change.
So love this, would love to see it connected to a wider network uh, up where I live in Wilton Manors and up in Oakland Park uh, so that we can seamlessly ride from downtown all the way north. It's been a long time coming. We want to thank the federal government for um, giving us the money to get this done and thank all the people who've come out to lend a hand. Right. This street, whether it be a street, a bridge, anything that creates that division is something we have to get away from. And that's the, what we're doing here in Fort Lauderdale, trying to bring neighborhoods together.